All righty. Do you have chronic neck pain? Those upper shoulder muscles between your neck and your shoulders are tight all the time. If you do, this episode is for you. Do you like right now? Right now, if you kind of move your head side to side, your shoulders or those neck muscles are just like, oh, I'm kind of tight. Yeah, then then this is this is for you. We're going to at the end of this episode, you're going to be loosened up a little bit more. And you're going to have some ideas of what to do to help get to the root cause of this whole thing. So you can be feeling better because man, oh man, it just seems like everybody is going around with tight neck, tight shoulders, like really tight, not not just kind of like, oh, it's just like, oh, I kind of feel something, but more like, like I wake up in the morning and I think, oh gosh, like, you know, I feel like I partied all night, but all I did was sleep. <laughs> I know, I know, it's rough. So if that's you, if you just have that, then then this is going to be a really important episode to help you figure this out. Or if you have somebody who is always complaining to you like, ah, oh, my neck, like, okay, we're going to go through, we're going to go through some stuff in some decent detail. Now, before we do that, Head on over to couch2active.com, couch2active, C-O-U-C-H-T-O active.com. The link's in the show notes. We have got a brand new resource. It is a free resource I just put out called the Roadmap 101, which is a great resource to help you answer that question of, I want to go from couch to active, but I should be exercising more, but I should be eating better, but yeah, that is a free resource I put out there that is getting some really great feedback from folks that um, it's been super helpful. And I want you to have that also. Um, All you do is just name, email, that's it, couchtoactive.com and we'll get you rolling. All righty, neck pain. Okay, we're going to talk about a couple of things here. We're going to talk about the pain you have in your neck all day, every day. We're going to talk about the chronicness of it and the underlying issues that might need to be discovered. And then I'm going to tell you something about a Theracane, trigger point massager, back neck massager, massage cane. It's all like a whole bunch of different names for the same thing. Um, Not affiliated or selling anything. You guys know I'm not, I never sell products on the side. Um, But want to tell you about this because this little Theracane thing is so cool and so helpful that one time I took this thing to a camping trip that had probably 40 people there. It was really cool. It was actually a really big camping trip thing because my neck hurt. And then when I got there, I I had left it in my car and I just thought I would use it in my tent. You know, I didn't want to be the weirdo who was like, you know, massaging their neck at the camping, the camping uh, site. But um, when I got there, there's somebody else who was having some really big neck pain. And I thought, oh, she needs this. She needs to borrow my Theracane. And so I pull it out of my car. I pull it out. People look at it like, what the heck is that? Give it to her. I didn't see that cane again the whole weekend. Actually, I did because people were passing it around all weekend long. Everyone was taking their turn using this Theracane saying, oh my gosh, the woman who was suffering, her, she had a headache horribly and was nauseous because her neck hurt so bad. This helped her feel so much better. Um, and then just everybody was using it, not just for like five minutes, oh, hmm, interesting, or 90 seconds, like, oh, hmm, okay, huh. But no, like everybody who got a hold of it hung on to it for like a half hour and worked themselves. So I'll tell you about what that is uh, too. Okay, so you've got some tight muscles. I know, I know. Like right now, if you sit up tall, get the weight of your head over your shoulders. Yep, yep. So some people say, take your head and lift your head up nice and tall. Some people say, you know, Um, you know, lift your chin a little bit or tuck your chin or push your head backwards. I found the best cue to get your head in place is to take the weight of your head. Yep. 
and adjust your head so that you feel like your head is balanced over your shoulders more than before. Now, for most of us, this means we, yeah, you did, didn't you? <laughs> I know, I know, I do this every day. Every day I do this with clients and myself. We, most of us, we have to move that head backwards a little bit and we feel those muscles, our upper traps between our the sides of our neck to our shoulders, that upper part there, we feel it relax just a little bit. That's step one, that's step one. Now, if you got a way to take notes, take notes on this because you gotta remember this one, like seriously, put a reminder somewhere where it's in front of you all the time, head over shoulders, head over shoulders, head over shoulders, because so much of the chronic neck pain we have, that stiffness, that tightness, has nothing to do with that final time you bent over and picked up that thing, but has everything to do with how you're holding your head over your shoulders all day, every day, all day, every day, all day, all day, all day, day, every day. Yeah, even even right now, did the head go forward again? Do you gotta get back over the shoulders? Yeah, constantly, constantly trying to help those upper trap muscles relax a little bit. Yeah, that's a big one. Now, those upper muscles, they're sore, they're tight, and they, uh, hang on, who's calling here? Should we answer it? (laughs) Nope, we're not gonna answer it. (laughs) All right, there we go. Next time I'll turn that ringer off. All right, next one, taking my hands, I'm gonna do a little bit of self massage on my shoulders. Okay, so I'm gonna take right now, I'm gonna sit up tall or stand. Do this with me, it's pretty cool. I'm gonna take my right hand and take my fingertips and put my fingertips of my right hand on a spot on my shoulder on the right side, that same side that feels tight. So I'm gonna take like my my three or four fingertips, just feel around where it's tight. Now, uh, most of us are like, but the whole thing is tight. Yeah, I know, I know. So you'll have to do this probably 12 times on each side, but pick one little spot, fingertips, just kind of press those fingertips in around that next spot that feels tight. Find a spot that feels kind of good to press those fingertips in, not crazy hard. Hold those fingertips there, right hand, right shoulder. Hold them there, take your left hand. Put your left fingertips on top of the right fingertips. Press down just a little bit more. So now your fingertips are pressing into that muscle where it's really tight. Yeah, you got it? Uh Uh-huh, it already feels good, doesn't it, huh? But because you're using both hands, you can kind of relax into it. It's not quite so much stress on the fingertips. Okay, now, hold your fingertips there. Yep. Take a big inhale. Exhale, lean that left shoulder over to the left ear, over to the left shoulder, holding the fingertips there. That's a trigger point. Nice. Hold that there for a little while, maybe 10 seconds, maybe 30 seconds, probably closer to 30 seconds. Just let it relax. Nice. Now stay there, keep those fingers right there, pressing into that same spot, bring your head back to center. Keep the fingertips right there, don't move them. Take another big inhale. Exhale, left ear over to the left shoulder. My fingertips are still on that spot on the right side. Hold it there. Nice, you probably just got your left ear over quite a bit further, didn't you? Uh Uh-huh, nice. One more time, keep the fingers there, lift the head. Keep the fingers in that one spot. Your fingers now desperately wanna move around to another spot, don't they? Don't three times. Keep those fingers there. Your fingers are probably getting tired. Yep, here we go. Inhale. Exhale, left ear over to the left shoulder for the third time. My fingers are still on that one spot on the right side, letting it relax. Nice. Fingertips stay there, head to center, slowly release the fingers off that side. Move your shoulders around wherever you want to. Nice. Now, 
That was just one little teeny, teeny taste of this. Go ahead and do it on the other side. I'm not going to talk you through it, but go ahead, find a spot on the other side. So I'm going to take now my left fingers, find a tight spot on the left side, put my right fingers, bring my right hand across my chest, put the right fingers on top of the left fingers, do the same thing, right ear to right shoulder, and then the three breathing things. So you can go ahead and do that while I'm talking here. So what you just did, yep, still doing, I'm doing the left side here too. It's like, oh, this feels good. <laughs> what this is, and a lot of us are familiar with this, this is a trigger point massage. We're finding a tight spot, pressing into it just a little bit, relaxing into it three times so that that spot, that muscle will relax and release. Yeah. Now, here's the thing. Some of you already are probably saying, okay, that's great, but now my hands hurt. Like, wow, that was a lot. It's a lot of work on the hands. This is where the Theracane comes in. So let's talk about this Theracane. The Theracane is a, t a thing. It's a plastic tool thing. It's a weird S-shaped piece of plastic that's about the, it's like taking a tube uh, like a garden hose of plastic, but rigid, stiff, melding it into the shape of a weird looking letter S. This letter S is about as long or wide or tall as a carry-on suitcase. So there we go, big letter S. And then there's like knobs of hard plastic on each end. It looks kind of like a torture device. Actually, I really don't know what torture devices look like, but it looks like it could be a torture device. What this Theracane does is it essentially does the, you can do the very same trigger point massage that we just did with your neck, but without having to use your hands, you use the cane. I don't know why they call it a cane. I don't know. But yeah, cane, trigger point massager, back neck massager, massage cane. They're all, you can just go online. They're anywhere in the ballpark of 20 bucks. And it's a really, really great 20 bucks to spend. Let me tell you, I've gotten so much use out of mine. But essentially, it basically you take that Theracane thing, put the ball end of it, a hard ball of end of it into the spot like you just did. Do the very same breathing into it, you know, stretching out of it. And you can get some amazing, amazing, amazing re relief. And the cool thing about these is you can take that and do those trigger points all around your neck. And then the way this thing is shaped, you can actually get, even if you have limited shoulder mobility, you can get between your shoulder blades, down around your shoulder blades. Like it's, yeah, it's pretty gosh darn awesome. So that'll help you a lot. Are you still doing the neck massage right now while you're listening? Yeah, good, good. <laughs> that'll do a lot, but here's the thing. The last piece you need to do is if you've had chronic upper neck, always tight, always tight, always tight, you want to really get into root cause of it, especially if you have a neck that's so tight that when you turn your face towards one shoulder, it actually hurts. And then when you turn your face towards the other shoulder, it also hurts on both sides. Or if you're waking up in the middle of the night and you you know try to turn and you wake up because it hurts, you gotta, gotta get to root cause um, of it. Because a lot of times we think, oh, I just need massage. I just need to get massage, that's all. And it, a lot of times there, it's actually a imbalance of upper trap and lower trap um, muscles. So our, our the muscles in our neck are firing all the time. And there's other muscles in the middle and lower part of our neck that we can train and learn how to use and fire so that the upper trap muscles, the ones that are always tight, don't have to work 24 seven. And that makes all the difference in the world. I can help you do that if you'd like. Some of us need to go to physical therapy and have a physical therapist look at it. Some of us need to like actually get um, some radiology or, or scans done on our neck to make sure everything's okay. But the moral of this whole story is you're worth not having a neck that hurts all the time because a 
pain in the neck is a pain in the neck. And that is just no fun. And the other moral of the story is so many of us are so good at disconnecting and disassociating from our body and just dealing with pain 24 seven because we got so many other things going on that we actually forget, oh my gosh, this is maybe more solvable than I realize. And we need a little nudge. You need me to tell you, figure this out. You can do this, figure this out. Yeah. And sometimes it's week, months, and years to figure it out, but it's so, so worth it. So you aren't in that low grade pain all the time. So it's easier to be naturally in a happier mood because you're not fighting being in pain all the time, or you have one less thing that's in pain all the time. So you can live more the life you want to live. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's what it's all about. So Anyhow, the main reason I came on to tell you about the Theracane is because I kind of thought everybody knew about these. And then I started talking in my classes about them and I realized most people don't know what this thing is. (laughs) So now you do. Alrighty, what is your task? Your task is to commit to yourself, you will get to root cause to why your neck is hurting. You're going to practice that trigger point massage. If you like that, you're going to get yourself a Theracane. And if you're not already, you're going to sign up for that Roadmap 101. Because one, it's just a fantastic resource. And it'll get your motivation going to do this whole exercise thing. And in the near future, we're going to have a clinic on Theracanes because this is a really important topic. Um, And not having your neck hurt all the time. Yeah, pain in the neck, we want to get rid of that. And so make sure you're on that roadmap so you won't miss out on that opportunity for that Theracane Clinic coming up. That's couch2active.com. Head on over there and sign up if you haven't. It's an amazing free resource for you, couch2active.com.